Hey guys, Logan here. And Tim. And we're from Team 5052. Alright, so today we're going to learn how to open up an image in LabVIEW. And create a threshold onto that image. Alright, so the first thing that we want to do, we're going to use IMAC create. So that basically creates a buffer in memory, and that's where we're going to store the image later. So we name that image Maki, and we set it to grayscale. So, here's the original image that we want to use. It's Maki from Love Life, and we're going to make her a binary image. So let's take a look. The next thing that we want to do is use iMac read file. So this is what we're going to use to insert Maki into that buffer we created for the image. So we take the file path, this is our path to maki.jpg, and we put it into the read file. So it passes the reference from that buffer into this, the iMac threshold. So what does that do, Tim? The iMac threshold takes in a range of two pixel values of our grayscale, which averages the RGB value and creates it from a range of 255 from 0 to 255. And so if we put apply to the threshold that we currently have and run it, we get this value. But we want to, to make the hair black still, so we have to up the value because if it's within the range, it becomes white. So by a lot of testing, we find out that 160 is a good value for this image. And there it is. Wow. And in order to actually draw this image, we use this wind draw, which just takes in our reference. Wow, so that's pretty cool. So you think I can use this to detect game objects? Most definitely, Logan. Wow, that's pretty wicked if I do say so myself. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, Logan. No problem.